Why are knobs a unique little town? The people are creative, ambitious, easygoing, and proud. They also wear their heart on their sleeve. When mum died, that sleeve creased and the heart of the town was folded away. And it needed a massive shot of adrenaline and a tiny shot of starch to get its flickery little pulse beating again. Stupid. Jim's supposed to be dead. We'll be in a minute. Take a look at this bloke. What's he doing? Dunno. Just found him. Have you shot him yet? He's just about to. <coughs> Leg. <coughs> arm. <coughs> Other arm. <coughs> Other leg. Looks like it. I reckon he pissed his pants. Gross. Use a bigger one. Okay. Oh! Hit him with a stick. You hit him with a stick. Oh, wait, you shot him. Yeah, but I threw the rocks at him. It's your turn. Come on, don't poke him, hit him. Harder than that. Fair dinkum. Yeah, give him a whack. Poke it in his hole. Really? Yeah, see how far it goes in. took place in this public access park where children sometimes play. This all happening only days after Williams agreed to testify in court oh, against Barney. his mother. Williams, a father you bloody of idiot. To be a lover of animals and the homeless. A further human head has been found in the face of the North region. Kate Hayward report. Well, he looks dead. Which gun did you use? 38. Barney, that's Dad's work gun. Didn't know it was loaded. Do you know how much trouble we could get in? It's the last thing he needs right now. Said I was sorry. Oh, hey, honey, Mark. G'day, Jill. How's your dad? Yeah, not so good. Poor love. So, what's going on here then? 
Barney shot him. It was an accident. Was well, not. You were aiming at him. So were you, dickhead. And you shot at him first. Yeah, but his mouth bullets. All right, all right. Easy, lads. Let's not play the blame game. Well, he's not local. Any idea who it is? I reckon he's one of those brothers that's been on the news. Oh, yeah? Is this a good one or the bad one? I don't know. Well, what about the other one? You seen him? Mm -mm. Jeez. They look alike, don't they? Is he dead? Reckon he might be. Hit him with a stick. Wonder how he died. Stabbed, probably. Yeah, probably. Well, I suppose we should call the authorities. We can't on him, Mug. Funny shot him with a 38. Your dad's work gun? Bloody kid. Well, better call Heather and Brian. Okay, mate. Okay. Okay, Marg. Yep. Yep. Bye, Marg. Who was that? That was Marg. Everything okay? Oh, yeah, fine. Young Barney went and shot himself one of them missing brothers. Really? Silly bugger. Everyone okay? Yeah. Well, all except the fellow they shot. Oh, and his brother's dead too. Never mind. The police there? No, they're not calling it in. Silly bugger went and used Bill's work gun. Oh, did he? Oh, how is Bill? Poor love. Yeah, he's still got a bit of a ways to go, I think. Ah, oh, well, he certainly doesn't need this extra problem on his plate now, does he? No, no, he doesn't. Well, I'm going to have to take the truck up there and bring it all in. Radio. Why does he have to stay here? Because, Bjorn, the last place people will look for a corpse is in this dump. Right now, the less you know about this, the better. Funny is Dad's work gun. Pandora! What a wizard. So what if he wakes up? You call me straight away. Right. What if he wakes up? What do you reckon, dimwit? No. He can stay here. But the compost goes out in the garden. Whatever. I reckon we'll have to get rid of this one for good. But what if he's a good one, Mr. Catford? He deserves a proper burial. Hey, little dudes, stop throwing shit at my abode. Especially you, Barnstorm, you're in enough trouble. Shut up, Pippi. I said I'm sorry. Yeah, shut up, Pippi. It's a big call. I'm just not sure I can make this kind of decision. Oh, come on, Pete. Of course you can. Just turn your head and walk away. Well, that's easy to say, but it's my neck on the block here. Oh, please. Hey, you know it's the right thing to do. It's not like you've got anything to lose. Nothing to lose? What about my self-esteem? I mean, I'm the one who's got to look at myself in the mirror. Oh, get your hand off it, you dill. You barely know her, mate. And let's be honest, you can't always get another one. You know, they warned me about these Russian brides. But I really thought Ironushka was different. 
your emails. I was so, so sincere, you know. I honestly thought she loved me. Now, look. There's no doubt she's got a lovely heart, Pete. And so do artichokes, mate. And they're as prickly and bitter on the outside as she is. What about this situation with this fellow that Barney shot? And his dead brother. Oh, Mark. Just do what needs to be done. You're not gonna fill it in now? Nah, Amy said to leave it this way in case the other one dies. That way we can just chuck them both in together. Reckons it's best not to separate twins. What are you going to do if he doesn't die? What do you mean? I mean, with your dad. It's his gun, wasn't it? If they find out his 12-year-old son shot an innocent man with his work gun, lose his job, won't he? Probably. Bloody hell. It's the last thing he needs. It's the last thing any of you need. We'll be right. Yeah, I suppose. Still. If it was me, I'd be making sure of it, I reckon. Honey Mark made Hungarian goulash. You did a good job with the flowers, Dad. Are you wearing Mum's perfume? Oh, I'll go get it. Tony Margaret. Jill, it's Auntie Margaret. Make sure you eat something, okay, Dad? Sister, all right? Substances, so I figured whatever went into Bjorn's blood went into this guy's. So he made this. It really works. Can't feel a thing. That doesn't mean he can't. Uh, I'm sorry to be like smarter than you, but just so you know, Mitch over here hasn't felt pain in nearly three years. Hey. <laughs> I need you all to leave. Well, this is Please, my... Bjorn. Jill! Uh, yeah, uh, Jill. She was inside. Um, she, she 
Could have left. Get away from me, Jill! Tara, I didn't do anything. I don't think he's got much longer. Bill? With all of the events that had happened over the last 48 hours, seeing Dad up and about was without a doubt the most important. The next day we had a funeral for the dead twin. And it was so great to see everyone out of their houses and back on the street again. Something which hadn't happened for a long time. Everyone was so grateful to the wounded man for brutally murdering his brother in cold blood and giving them a reason to smile again. Oh, yeah, Marg, I'm OK. Yeah, it's silly, really. Yeah, it's just that there's something about funerals that make me so sad. You silly bugger. Righto, everyone. <clears throat> Suppose we better get things underway. So someone should say something. How are the miles? Righto, then. I suppose it's up to me. Margaret. May I speak? In Russia, we have a saying. Don't mix your tears with the lumps in your milk. This man is bad. He is dead. <laughs> Save your tears for someone good. The town learnt one important lesson from Irinushka's speech. To never invite her to a funeral again. But it did make the town laugh. Something it hadn't done for a long time. <laughs> that was the first time Dad had cried since Mum passed away. And this was the first time he'd smiled. Mum once told me that living in a small town is like sitting on a toilet seat that's just been used. Sure, it has its dark and messy history, but you can't help but enjoy its warmth. Can't handle 